For this video, I'm showing you how um, to outline your drawing first before you start your any tonal work. So it's important to know that when you start that you have very, very light strokes and that you use an HB pencil. Once you've mapped out where things are for your animal or whatever you're drawing, then start to sort of draw your outline, but make sure that the, the lines are light so that you can make any changes that you need to make. So don't press too hard on your pencil, nice soft marks, just to show where things are going to be placed on the page. And when you're happy with your proportions and the placement, then you can start to move into slightly darker strokes. So I've done my first initial drawing and now I'm coming in with some sort of heavier marks to show and start to describe the fur and the detail on, on this rabbit. So for instance, if I was working into the eye, I would define the shape again and just give it a slightly bolder form and shape. And then I'd change to my tool and start with a darker tone. So it's important to know where darkest tones are first and to bring those in nice and boldly. So with the eye, I've got a very clear reflection, which I want to include to give a nice 3D form to the eye. So graduating your tone carefully, thinking about the direction of your marks as well, you're going to start to get a nice sense of 3D form. So when you come to start to bring in more graduated marks for the fur, again, just, just vary your marks and vary the direction of the marks to show the fur. So when I'm when I'm drawing I really make sure that I have my observational image or whatever I'm working from very close to so that I can see where the graduations of tone are nice and clearly. Also you might want to use a, a light to help. But it is very important that those initial strokes are light and that you are gradually building up the tone. So really be aware of where those darker areas are and start to put them in so that you've got contrast, mid and dark tones and ideally you can have at least four tones in your drawing. Vary the length of your marks as well so that you can actually start quality of the fur. So obviously where, where you see the fur, you see it's slightly finer. You're going to do maybe just to vary the quality of your drawing as well. I'm also going to do a demo of a Scraffito drawing. So I'm giving you techniques because it's Scraffito technique. So it really is your choice. And so as you can see, I'm graduating and gradually building up these tones. You can also bring in a 4B pencil and start to work in with even darker tones. So I'm coming in here back into the eye and making it even darker. Again around the nose as well and around the mouth. 
and under the chin. So all of these little areas where you have got dark, you're going to emphasize them and come in with your 4B pencil. Where you have got light white, you could just leave the paper. So you don't need to actually put any pencil marks down. You could just leave it white. Make sure as well that you don't press too hard. You don't want to damage the paper that you're drawing on. And then it will become harder to, to rub out and erase marks. So when you do do rubbing out, make sure your rubber is clean. Make sure that if you have a putty rubber, they're ideal for working into and to sort of moulding into the shape that you would like. So aim to, to push your, your darker areas, but also keep working in with the lighter strokes as well. So you've got a range from light to dark. So you'll be swapping pencils depending on the sort of tone that you want. And detail-wise, I'd like you to really push the detail on these drawings and make sure that you show as much sort of contrast in pencil marks and mark making as you can. My next video I'm going to show you the Scraffito technique and also some finished drawings as well. Thank you for watching.